a new trunk. <laughs> There's some type of DVD player right here. Come on, Kashaka, go ahead, dog, go ahead. Yes, completely happy. Hey. Some horrible insulation. Horrible. It's got an aftermarket bow system and an air conditioning system. The next thing to do is just to start cleaning it. I believe there's nuts at the bottom of the car holding this rail down. This thing has two DVD players I didn't even notice. Pretty sure these are gonna be staying there. No idea what this is. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the bow system and the AC unit. These rivets right here. Take a drill bit bigger than the hole and drill. We got most of them off. It wiggles now, which is always good. Oh my God. There we go we got it all off this little piece right here and then there was a middle rivet and that's it plan is to remove everything from the side and then just insulate and just start to insulate got to remove that little thing and that's it huh. there it is one side's clear now to work on this ac side it looks like it's just these clips right here grippy pliers just there it is that's all it is this one should be easy Moved all the little clips. This is what I have left. This looks like it's removed that. Ready for the insulation. Still need to purchase it. All I have to do now is buy the insulation. Here it is, baby. Damn, look at that. Insulation. Mmm. Foil poly iso foam sheeting. That's a little bit too thick. Holy shit, that's too thick. This, should we go with this? R2.7, R13. R13, that's too much. Probably this one right here. That's one inch. Let's just grab them. Just go ahead and put four, I guess. Here we go, big gap filler. Just, oh, I should use this on my X to fill the nice big gaps I'ma leave. Now, all we need is the adhesive, the sticky adhesive. Aisle two to three. Multi-purpose adhesives. I'ma say it's 100 bucks. The poly was Seventy dollars. One hundred ten. One hundred eleven. I was cleaning all the panels. This is what we're gonna be doing all day tomorrow. Cutting these frames out to size. Measuring everything. Measuring all the sizes. Boom. When you're buying a van like this, you want to take into consideration. Do you want a cargo van, which is like a work van, has no seats, no windows. The whole process of insulating and converting will be much easier if you buy a cargo van or you can buy a passenger van. Look at this. Look at this, we finally went ahead and purchased taking the seats off taking the seat belts off and then taking all these panels off oh look at that absolutely no patience i just took the good old blade and i cut the seat belts oh, 
I think I'm just gonna go ahead and tint the window. I'm pretty sure everything's still gonna be able to stick. Oh my gosh, I'm already getting hella stoned. We're two cans into Plasti Dip, and I realized that probably a lot of you guys have no idea what Plasti Dip even is. This is Plasti Dip. All this is is a sprayable plastic. In order to be able to peel that off, that's extremely too thin. So if I wanted that to be able to peel off, I would need to add a ton more layers to make it thick. This here's Plasti Dip. Cartel is Plasti Dip. It's a really nice paint you can use if you want to change the color of of something since this thing is non-permanent i decided to plasti dip all the windows i realized that i did the back windows i probably should have tinted these just normally so i could actually look through the rear window in the near future i will be purchasing a rear view camera for this thing that won't be a problem we got the curtains up they're just some normal black curtains held on by one of crypto's leashes that's going to completely block off the front this isn't going to be the final outcome this is just a quick solution for now things are coming along nicely he just wants to sit on my fucking seat I need to get a seatbelt for this dog This is going to be the second to last layer. So there's still going to be one huge layer of Reflectix, which is that right there. A huge one of those that's going to cover all the walls. So there's still going to be an extra layer above this. This is how mostly everything is going to look. All the walls, all the windows, all the layers on this. One of these poly ISOs, which is this stuck to the wall like so there was a couple gaps there and there all i did was i took some insulation and i just stuffed everything best i can taped it all up with reflectix tape used this to connect everything and make everything sealed closed all the holes so this vehicle is a little bit more airtight now all i'm working on right now is making the squares for all the walls i'm gonna start off with the top walls i'm gonna make the poly iso squares shouldn't be that hard stick them to the wall i'm gonna try and cut a bigger square so i can open the window up at the end of all this i'm hoping that there's just one huge layer of reflectix huge shout out to the homie belugi he helped a ton i'm trying to figure out how to insulate this the easiest way possible i'm about to show you guys exactly how i did this how i got to this point they sell this on the insulation aisle let's go ahead and measure the window 24 and a half 24 and a half by 21 24 and a half There's the cutout. Trimmed it down. Yeah, that's perfect. <sighs> this is how the van currently is standing. We're gonna go ahead and do a rundown of the exact steps I took in order for the van to be in this current state. First thing, you have to strip the van. If it's a cargo van, it's gonna be much easier. If it's a passenger van, which you can most likely get for cheaper, you're gonna have to strip everything. All the panels are most likely gonna be broken off, so those can't be sold, but the seats and things, it's up to you what you wanna do with the seats. I personally threw everything away. You can probably sell them on Craigslist or something. Second step, install the floor with the bottom rail under it could be extremely difficult to walk around so you want a stable floor so just install a plywood floor third step clean everything clean the walls clean the windows clean everything fourth step patch every and all the holes you see all I did to patch the holes was I added some of this insulation in there to make it nice and tight like so then I took the reflectix tape and I sealed it tight The end result of doing all of this, we're trying to keep the temperature much more sustainable in here, much easier to sustain. We'll be installing a vent in here as well as solar panels. Fifth step I would recommend is the windows. You want to black out all the windows. The stealthier, the better. In my case, I went ahead and plasti dipped it. You could window tint it. I did find window tinting to be extremely difficult. Absolutely impossible for you to look inside. There's no way of looking inside through the plasti dip. The next step would have to be to install the poly ISO using some adhesive 
It doesn't have to be extremely stuck to the wall since you are going to tape over. Of course, the cutout isn't going to be perfect. So that's where the cardboard comes in. For huge gaps such as these, I tape down the reflecting so I'm able to pack in the cardboard installation, build all the gaps with the installation. It's pretty simple. That's all the steps I have so far. This was my actual first video on the van. I hope this was helpful for anybody interested in starting to build a camper van. Another different perspective from someone. Stick the poly to the wall. Add the reflectives to all the corners that need to be stuffed. Stuff it with the cardboard insulation. Pretty simple process. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.